You alluded to what Vlad had said, Vlad Tenev said yesterday, um, just acknowledging how close to the brink they came and how there was yeah. a moment where they didn't have the, the liquidity. Yep. Fortunately, they were able to get that liquidity. Um, when yes. you hear something yes. like that, what do you what do you think in hindsight? How, how big of a problem would that have been if they didn't get it? If they didn't get it, there's a chance they could have gone out of business. They've got 13 million clients. They would have would have lost the access altogether. Uh, I'm sure they're all paying attention to this without question. But frankly, if, if, I, if I'm Vlad, uh, I think I've got to put all my energy into diversify. I got to diversify. I got to fortify. I got to diversify. I got to find a different revenue stream. I have to do that. So should I look at digital banks, um, uh, uh, an ETF uh, organization, uh, a robo advisor business? Uh, the, the, the other thing I think I'd look at, the day trader is different from the active trader. Two different things, but the core competencies at Robinhood are transaction processing. So there's no reason why they can't go more upscale with that. Take a little while to do that, but I think they can do that. The other thing, they got to fortify the balance sheet. So they got to be able to get more cash that they can count on. So they've got to look at the, possi the possibility of, of going public, uh, whether that's through a normal IPO or a SPAC, or potentially being acquired themselves. But they've got to spend all their time looking at that now, and I'm, I'm positive they are. That's a very interesting point, the idea that you think they either need to go public quickly um, through a SPAC or an IPO or potentially get bought up by somebody else. When you talk about diversifying their, their, their payments or the, yeah. the income that they're getting so that it's not just yeah. this payment of, of uh, order flow, does that, is that something they could do by themselves or would that re require them to make acquisitions? Well, no, I think with regard, if they're going to look at a digital bank, if they're going to look at uh, an ETF type business, if they're going to look at a robo advice type business, you know, I would think they should be able to do that themselves. But but now here's where I don't know. And with, with regard to whether they go public or be acquired, I don't know if they've got to do any of these things right away, but they have to be devoting all their energy to making decisions as to what they need to do here and then start to execute a plan. So they've got to be sophisticated enough to really figure out what they've got to do and the contingencies behind that. Then they've got to be wise enough to simplify that so they can execute it quickly. Now, how quickly? They would have a better idea than I would, Becky, but they've got to do that. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.